Hello guys, welcome back to the Domain Racer and we are going to start a video series about cyber panel installation onto your VPS server. You can also follow this video for the dedicated server as well because the process and steps exactly the same. Whereas cyber panel and CWP, CentOS web panel, both are the free cPanel alternatives whereas cyber panel is performing way better than all other alternatives available in the market. So today we are covering the same things and in this video we are going to cover a extreme detail about cyber panel installation so you can able to set up your own wordpress best website so we are creating this video series So now moving moving towards the cyber panel okay cyber panel has a various features so in this case you can say it provides you the features like free SSL certificate cPanel also offer the SSL certificate but here you will get the let's encrypt SSL certificate and multi PHP version in cPanel if you want a multi PHP version that time you need a cloud Linux license that actually costing you a $12 or $13 as per the current pricing okay now we have the you can able to configure the sw backup and debugging also possible there are a lot of features are available and the basically if you are running a single website then slide speed also getting a free with the cyber panel okay so they having a four, three different plans so you can go ahead and uh, look on this all the factors okay if you go to the home page of the cyber panel you can able to see that one click ssl installation auto installer opus wp so this is the most important because in c panel we need to buy a softaculous for this separately it costing four dollars for the dedicated server and two dollars for the vps git management also available and the mod security so it will most secure options for the server now we will move further for the uh, installation part because everything has been already mentioned very clearly on the website now click on documentation and in the documentation section you can able to see the installation guide has been already given after that we will start the configuration domain configuration domain hosting installation of wordpress there are a lot of things so here the basically very first requirement is we need a cintos 7 cintos 8 ubuntu or ubuntu 18 20 so basically here we can have various options but in cpanel we can able to use only cintos operating system but while installing cyber panel we always recommend you to go with a CentOS because it's the most advanced one and people are actually all the server related operations are going to be performed in the future in the CentOS or cloud line okay and the uh, python is the must and the best part here is that cyber panel needs only 1 GB RAM to install and cPanel needs 2 GB minimum but in cyber panel you need only 1 GB RAM so that is what the cost cutting for your website so now we will move further for the vps okay in this case we are using a domain racer vps hosting the best part here is we are getting 2 gb ram at 8.22 but if you go with these options the costing for the each server is almost double than the domain racer so you can able to choose a domain racer and also you are getting ssd storage along with that and huge bandwidth so it is depend on you which server you are using but the process is same one in this case we are using a server of domain racer and a plan vps l2 now we will move to the control panel and if you go to the domain racer control panel you will find the option install os okay here there are variety of options are available okay so in this case if i click on this so you can able to see a lot of operating systems control panels and all available in this area so in this case we are choosing cintos 8 because it's the latest version so click on this and here it will give you a warning whether you wanted to erase but the server is totally empty so we can able to use this and click on yes and continue it might take 10 to 15 minutes to complete the installation of CentOS 8. Once complete, we will come back. Installation result. Wait, need to be a 5 minute. Okay, so our installation is running on. So in this case, we will meanwhile read this documentation. Here, this command we need to fire. If you scroll down, if you are installing any 
version or you wanted to space install a specific version so that time you can able to use this command so here you need to enter a brand name and uh, you can able to start installation if you are getting a 503 error after installation then you need to enter these things and the troubleshooting methods has been given already so means basically if you wanted to do installation the documentation has been given very clearly okay once installation of operating system complete we will start the installation of cyber panel and once cyber panel installation completed after that we will configure a basic level of cyber panel settings now we'll go back and we will see that whether the installation has been completed here the installation of operating systems has been completed very successfully now we have to open a putty you can able to download it from the internet and enter a port number and the port number is 22 and the IP address of the server and click on open and here it appears a security alert click on yes enter the username root and the password is given here and copy and just right click it will paste automatically and click on enter now we had successfully logged into our server the very first we need to update the operating system now very first update the packages to update that add m hyphen y update our package update process has been completed now go back and copy the installation command so here make sure that you have to copy this command so please don't make a mistake because while installing if you do a wrong installation it will mess up entire the server so in this case this is the command so you can able to copy this from this button and go here and right click this is the command and click on enter the installation might take some time so please wait for this now here it will ask for the three options first one open light speed second one is light speed enterprise and third one exist means if you wanted to install a light speed there are two light speed versions given first one is free second one is paid and third one if you choose it will not install any light speed versions so in this case if you wanted to install any light speed we will choose the first option because it's a free version click on one and enter now here it will ask for the setup remote mysql but in this case we don't need it because here we are using local mysql so in this enter n and now the next setting is if you wanted to install the older version of cyber panel you just need to enter the version name like 1.9.4 but in this case we wanted to install the latest just enter now it will ask for the set a password so in this case if you wanted to set a password you having a three options first one is default default password is one two three four five six seven and random generated means he the CentOS panel itself will generate a password or you can specify a password so in this case there are three options if you want to specify you can able to put s and enter but in this case we can able to put d and continue now it will asking for the extension that is mem catch it if you wanted to install on the all PHP versions then you can able to click on yes click enter now our installation process has been started so we need to wait for some time our reboot has been completed successfully now time for login into cyber panel for the login into cyber panel you need to enter the IP address colon 8090 is the port number to login into cyber panel okay click on enter and also save here here you can able to see that private your connection is not private because you had installed server recently because of that SSL is not yet configured to access the server click on advance and go to this option unsafe congratulations we are on the cyber panel and here the username always will be the admin and the password we had set default if you had set the your own password then you need to enter here so in this case one two three four five six seven and click on login 
please make sure that save the all informations in the secure place and here we had successful logged into the cyber panel in the next video we will do some basic configurations so you can start configuring your domain and using a server